South Africa, soil represents more than just earth. Land ownership is a constant reminder of a colonial legacy and the lasting effect it has had on racial disparity between black and white South Africans. It's also now a key political issue for the ruling party, the African National Congress, or ANC. In February, Parliament passed a motion to review the expropriation of land without compensation, which would mean transferring land from white to black South Africans without paying for it. It is critical that we make this an inclusive process. We will not allow land invasions and those who are tempted to resort to such activities must be warned in advance that we will not allow it because it is illegal. President Cyril Ramaphosa has described land dispossession as the original sin, and it was enshrined in law under the Natives Land Act of 1913, which took away the right for most black people to own property. The government says blacks now own just 4% of privately owned land, compared with 72% for whites. The ANC has long promised to accelerate land reform, but the slow pace of change on that policy has allowed opposition groups to take ownership of that goal, including the economic freedom fighters. Here is their leader, Julius Malema, at the party's launch in 2013. Our people should feel confident again that this is their soil. And fellow white South Africans, if you agree with us, you are more than welcome to join us in the redistribution of land and the wealth of South Africa. Ramaphosa has pledged that any expropriation policy will be carried out in a way that won't damage the economy or agricultural production, nor jeopardise food security. But when land is such an emotive issue, can such a political promise be delivered? Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.